When it rains, it pours, and Thunder is back for more. Although a little bit hesitant to get into the shower today. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on, buddy. This 125 pound softy is blowing his summer coat, and he's ready to create a fernado in the shop. Watch until the end to see me get covered in fur and to meet Thunder's unlikely new friend. For those of you that don't know, we now have Girl With The Dogs products available directly on my website. We are almost sold out of our current inventory, but we will be adding new products every month. So head over to girlwiththedogs.com to get your hands on some brand related product and send me a picture of your pet wearing our bandana for a chance to be featured on the channel. Thank you all so much and we have more exciting things to come. Now let's get back to the big meathead. After the better part of a decade, I finally managed to finish this guy's bath, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Bathing big giant boulders like him is my favorite kind of workout, and they are also my favorite kind of dog to work on, because double-coated dogs make it feel like Christmas all year round. After smothering me with his fluffetti, I brush him out and then I clip his nails. He is a bit of a lazy dog and he doesn't like to lift his paws for me or, well, stand. But of course, we will be accommodating for this blubbering ball of serotonin. After that, I de-shed him using my undercoat rake. And I have to wonder how he still has hair on his body after losing all of this fur. And it was quite the challenge to shave an uncooperative bear's paws. I tidy up his socks. And after I tidied up his body, I sprayed him down in our jelly bean cologne, and he is all finished. Thankfully, he made a nice pillow for Melvin. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see more doggy content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Thoughtless Thunder.